Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. Okay, I am making a cup for a friend of mine and it's a pretty straightforward. All I wanna do is put a picture of something that's a place that's meaningful to her onto this cup. I have a 20 ounce skinny straight. I prepped it by sanding it, washing it, and then I spray painted it with a matte Rust-Oleum dark blue, it's called Midnight Blue, Rust-Oleum 2X. And then I put a very thin layer of epoxy on it with my rainbow, here we go, my rainbow Marabou alcohol ink. So there's a tiny bit of sparkle in dark blue. And that's where we are now. And now I just want to wrap one of these pictures on it. And the reason I'm showing you both is because I know which one I'm gonna pick. <laughs> and I will, I will tell you why, but I wanted you to see the difference. I have been using this matte printable vinyl. Uh, I got it off Amazon. This is the actual package of it, Buttercrafts matte white vinyl sticker sheets for inkjet printers, which is what I have. And um, I printed this out and it looks very nice. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's a beautiful picture, but I thought, you know, I have this brand new stuff that I got at the recommendation of Corinne Blackstone. I will link to her video below where she does an in-depth overview of these, uh, printing out stickers and trying them on different things. Uh, this is another type of printable vinyl. It's from a company called Neato Labels, and it is a uh, inkjet. It works, let's see, inkjet and laser printer, so you can use this on either one, and it is very glossy. It has a very glossy finish, and I wanted to try this to see what the difference would be, and here it is. This, this has been, I wrinkled this, so I can't use this particular one. I have a, a better copy that we're going to use also on this same paper or sticker paper, vinyl. Um, but I wanted you to see the difference because it's, it's actually pretty striking. I didn't think I would see that much difference, but hopefully you can see it. Um, the de It's the detail. Uh, the detail on this Neato sticker paper is much more visible. You get much more detail and therefore much more clarity uh, than you do on the mat which is sort of muted because it's lost a bunch of its detail. Not enough to make it a bad picture. This would still work fine, but I think this looks better. Now I will say, um, again, I hope you can see this. I don't know if this shows up on the camera or not. There are some lines. There's a, a lighter line right down this entire part of the picture. It's more visible up in the sky and there's another one here more visible in the sky portion than it is farther down. Um, I, I assume that is just uh, the printer trying its best. I set it for high gloss and high quality printing, but you can see printer stripes. And this is a new ink cartridge I put in this printer. Everything should be fine, but this is just what happens with a picture this big. So I think in all honesty, that it will still be fine. You can barely see it from a distance, only up close. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one anyway, because I think overall, I like the fact that you can get much more detail. And I think when I put the final layer of epoxy on with a little bit more of my Rainbow Marabou alcohol ink sparkle in it, that basically all of these very, very, very faint flaws will disappear and you will get a much nicer overall effect. That's what I'm gonna do. I wanted to show you these just cause, you know, I wanted you to see the difference, but here is the good one that I haven't ruined yet and hopefully I won't. Hopefully I will get that on my cup. Now this is a 20 ounce skinny straight, which means I should, if I line it up correctly to start, and that's always the tricky part, but I should, be able to do a wrap around <laughs> and have it line up so it, it matches when it gets around to the other side. Now, if it's off a little bit, that's not a problem because I am going to put a strip of vinyl around the top and around the bottom. And depending on how it looks when it meets, I may put it up the up the seam as well. We'll see, I may put her name there, I don't know yet. First things first, I have to get it onto the cup, which is the hardest part of all. So, um, this is the opening, so I want the picture to be up. I'll move that back there. 
set that to rest. And I am going to start by peeling back just a little bit from the backing, hopefully. Hopefully. Just a little bit. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to fold the backing paper down like that. So I'm just working with this uh, small strip initially. And then I'm going to try my darndest to get this on here straight. Before I go any farther, let's see how I did. I don't think I did a very good job. Now nope, it's off. Not significantly, but a little bit. So let's see if it'll let me this is a test of this paper for this sticker, sticker vinyl, printable vinyl. All right, fine. Can I pull it off without ruining anything? And the answer is yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Close enough, I'll take it. All right, now we are going to slowly work our way around here. Now, you can sort of see the, the bump from the, um, the overlap portion that's underneath the top flap. It's much easier to see at the top than it is at the bottom, of course. pretty sloppy. Okay, all right. Now, okay, I cut some very thin strips out of this um, dark blue matte vinyl. It's not an exact match to the midnight blue spray paint, but it's very close. And I'm, I'm hoping that once everything is under another layer of epoxy resin with marabou sparkles, that it will look, it will look darn tootin' close enough. We'll find out, won't we? I put the cup on an arm here, on a turner, sort of as a third hand, while I try and do this. Very, very carefully. No, not like that. All right, try and keep it straight. is not cooperating. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
And we'll try the same thing down here. Yay! It worked! Woohoo! Cool beans! I am so sorry. I thought my camera was on. I did put a vinyl decal of her name on here. Um, I, I did it somewhat understated. I think this looks great. It says basically on the front opposite the, um, the seam up the back. So that's there now. I am going to seal everything on with Rust-Oleum 2X Matte Clear Spray, couple layers, and then put a final coat of epoxy resin on. It will have my uh, Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink Sparkle Additive in it. And then the cup should be done at that point. Uh, the thing I wanted to tell you, the thing I'm sorry you missed while the camera wasn't on, was when I put this on, I used transfer tape, your regular old transfer tape that you use vinyl with. If I had done that on this version of the photo, on the printable vinyl that had a matte surface, the transfer tape would have ripped the picture off when I took it off her name. So I could not have done this on this without destroying the picture underneath because this, this will rip. The top of the picture on the mat does rip. Uh, in fact, I can show you, do an example. This is not transfer tape, this is just regular tape, but for the purposes of my demonstration here, say I put the name Sandy on there, and then this is what would have happened. So, you cannot use transfer tape on matte printable vinyl. But even though my camera wasn't on, so you didn't see me do it. So I was able to put the name on with transfer tape and pull the transfer tape off and not hurt the picture underneath like I would have on the matte surface because of the gloss factor on this. And I know this one works. This is the Neato brand. This is what you want in order to be able to do this. Neato labels blank full sheet, water resistant, super glossy vinyl labels. And they have a white back to them so you can do colors on a dark surface. It's not clear like a water slide paper. So I'm gonna seal it, put on a final layer of resin and bring you back for the big reveal at the end.